Hey guys, it's Freezing Inferno here again, and you're watching Let's Play Mega Man Extreme. I've got with me another guest. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, Grey Fox. I'm Australian. Uh, he's Australian, all right. I'm. I'm this is Bring, multicultural, yeah. I tell you. I've had an American, a, a Swedish man, and an Australian. I'm bringing my Australian flair in, so. So we're gonna fight Magnus Centipede today. He's a dick. Magnus Centipede. He's not. Oh, uh, well, kind of. He's worse in Mega Man X too. Yeah, he is way worse in Mega Man X too. <laughs> Let's start with we've got these icky old things. Now, don't get caught by the searchlights in this one. It's important because you need to get up to this little platform thing that will drop down if you get caught by the searchlights to get a heart tank. Now in the Super Nintendo version, you can just scroll it off screen, but if you go past that autosaver, you can't go back, so you have to be careful. So you just got a speed burner charge up there. If you charge it, you do this air dash, and you can just get up there and totally grab the uh, heart tank. Wait, you can't you can't do that in this game? If you go past the autosave, it cuts it off? That's yeah, just look. A bit look stupid. I, you can't go back. No. So you've got to get it for... you've got to get it past the searchlight so you can't get it, so... Ugh. That's a bit silly. It's a bit silly. It makes it a bit harder, but it compensates for that by making the... getting the, uh, sub-tank that's over here a lot easier to get. Because you don't have to oh, ramp okay. off a block to get it. You can just ramp off the platform. You'll you'll see in a second here when I go get it. It's right here, I believe. Yeah, right here. Just gotta get the speed burner. And I'm preparing myself because I think this is probably going to take me a billion fucking tries, but we go and... First go? It. I get it very first go. Excellent. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with myself as well. Now, <laughs> normally on the Super Nintendo version, there would be a giant vector graphics sword here, but obviously the Game Boy Color can't handle vector graphics. So they just throw in another one of these yeah. things that you usually fight later on. And he's just... These like, guys, yeah. He's got, this guy isn't hard, really. Just charge and shoot and dodge his little bullets and dash under him. It's, it's nothing to it, really. It's more tedious than anything. He's more annoying in the uh, Super Nintendo version because he actually traps you in the corners. And yeah, then but you can... Shoot get... them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the game is trying to make up for the whole Morph Moth mini-boss fiasco. Ugh. Morph Moth. No, did, did you actually awesome. see that video yet? Yeah, I've seen it. And yeah, those mini bosses, oh. the corner spammers. Ugh. God, <laughs> this guy's just standing in one place and letting me beat him in the face with these charge shots. There's nothing to it really, and he's dead. Hooray for me! So yeah, he definitely oh. isn't that much harder. Yep, it's easy now. I think I get caught by these searchlights. Some. Yeah, I got caught by the searchlights, and you don't want those things to grab you, but at the same time, you want to get up here to get a capsule, and it's tough to get, so while you're dicking around, the uh, search things are totally going to get you, if you're not careful, which they get me, like, about two or three times. Look at this shit. Ugh. I actually have no idea what those things do. They make the mini-boss harder. You know, I've got a zero scramble program final. Funny that the oh, second one you get is a final. It's strong, <laughs> but it takes a lot of energy to use. To use them on strong enemies may seem impossible to defeat. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I wonder if we're going to run into any of those today. Oh, I don't know. You did get hit by that searchlight. Oh, I got hit by that searchlight quite a few times, and you'll see what it does here now. Because we're going to fight another one of those big green mini-bosses. And just watch. It beefs up to... All the way from oh shit! All the way changing from colors. purple. So he's super hard now, and super strong, and has a shitload of life. And he's shooting up and down, and he makes this little mouth shield thing. So now I don't actually remember tough. that from my trip through so the let's Super Nintendo version. So let's use zero final and slash him a bit. No. I figure why not? I I use most of my zero stuff, so let's use zero dash while we're as a go-to. Slice. There. That was helpful, huh? Uh, so what actual energy does it use up? Like, it says it uses up a lot of energy, but I didn't know. Yes, yeah, all the zero final programs share the same uh, energy bar thing. Like, you know, how special weapons use energy. Oh, okay. And you can't replenish it unless you leave a stage. So, 
there's no way to fix it with weapon capsules or anything. So once you use it all, it's gone until you beat the stage or leave it. And that gave me a free guy, so yay for me. Now this part is actually a lot easier than the Super Nintendo version, because all you got to worry about is these falling blocks. You just got to dash under that one, dash over these pits, and jump over that one, and we are at Magnus Centipede. Hooray! That was quick. That was pretty damn quick. And his weakness is Silk Shot. And he's way, 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 way easier than in the Super Nintendo version. Because the screen and the room is a lot smaller. So when he does this little so teleport thing, you can actually hit him thing, on the roof. You can actually hit him on the roof. You'll, you'll definitely see that in, the, in this fight. Like, I just get him like that, see? He just jumps pretty much down parallel to you when he jumps on, on the ceiling. So you can just whack him in the head with his Silk Shot over and over and over and over again. Let's see, I got him with a full silk shot right there. And Ooh. he's dead. That, that, really easy, I tell you. Really easy. Yeah, it seems to me like a lot of the bosses are a lot easier in this game than the games that they're from originally. Yeah, except Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin's a bastard because you have Speed Burn instead of the uh, Flamethrower. Uh, we got okay. Magnet Mines from Magnet yeah. Sentiment. And we'll save on our good old file 2 again. All right, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Extreme, it's Wheel Gator, and we'll have one more guest. I'd like to thank you for showing up, Gray Fox. Oh, that's all right. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed it. I'm Freezing Inferno, and this was Gray Fox. Say bye-bye. Yep. See ya. Bye-bye.